mention me from cast names and things. So I'm so excited about this craft today. For years, I've been wanting to make um, paper mache bowls. Um, so I'm going to do it today with you. So for this craft, it's super, super easy. You just need some water. And I just have an old bottle of water here that's been sitting around the house. And then you just need some Elmer's All um, Glue or Mod Podge, whichever you have. You could probably even use school glue and that would be okay too. And then you're going to need um, just some strips that you cut out from a magazine. I did magazines. I'm going to um, cut up I cut some book pages because I am going to make these um, to put on my craft show. Um, like to put some things in them when I do craft shows. I'm going to make these beautiful bowls. So you just cut it in strips very easily however long you want and you just have these great little strips um you can use construction paper this is just colored copier paper just because i wanted to add a little bit of color so i'm going to add that i used um just ads you know from the grocery store which i made my recycling flowers out of these which turned out beautifully so i'll put a link if you want to see that um yeah so all you do is just cut up just a whole bunch of paper just like that and then you're just going to get a bowl of whatever size you want now you can do this two ways you could either turn it over on the back and just covered it with plastic wrap and then you could stick it on there um, but I'm really concerned about the inside like I want the inside to be really pretty so I actually just put bubble wrap on both sides and then just kind of rolled it over so that I get the shape of the bowl so definitely do that so that your suffers your surface is covered properly and that's it so we'll get started I'm going to show you the basics and then um, I'm going to come back and show you how um, kind of how it looks actually I might have you watch me do it and I'll just fast forward through it but um, I haven't decided yet so it'll be a surprise for both of us so you're just going to take your glue with water and if you wanted to, you could like brush them on here like that. And you're just going to set them down in there. So what I'm going to do um, is that this is going to be the bottom of the bowl. So I am going to put kind of beautiful, pretty colored paper in the paper that I want to show up on the bottom. Because I will be looking at the bottom of my gorgeous bowl. So. But I just love um, these paper mache bowls. They're so beautiful when you see them. Um, they're very, very pretty. So and I've been wanting to make some. And I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate it afterwards. So I'm super excited about that because you don't just want it to be plain. You want it to be very, very beautiful on the outside too. And you can make it go up as far as you want or kind of um, whatever you prefer. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could just go in with a brush and kind of brush it. But I'm not going to do that. You guys know how much I love book pages, so I was so excited. I said, oh, I can use my book pages for this, which I love. I love books, so whenever I can use them, I do in crafting. But see, that's just how it looks so far. So you're just going to go around those edges. And I think that I'm going to do about three layers, but um, you can do as many layers as you want. <clears throat> as I said before, just be careful because you do want this outside to be really pretty. When you get in the inside part, because I'm going to do about three layers, it can kind of, you don't really have to worry about that part. And this is kind of cool because you can just, you don't really have to wait for it to dry. Just make it as thick as you want. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So I can just keep adding layers on top, is what I'm saying. But um, once I get a whole layer, like when this is all covered, then I will brush it and then I'll add another layer on top. But you can keep going. You don't have to stop and wait for it to dry. But So I'm just going to keep doing this part. I'll keep working and I'll come back periodically to show you kind of what the process is. Um, so that way you're not watching like a three hour video. <laughs> 
but um, I'll definitely come back and show you like what the, all the layers Okay guys, like. so I'm back. So I just want to show you that I covered the inside of the bowl. So this is the whole bowl. And um, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I just brushed it over. Just like that. And I'm going to create my next layer. Okay? So I'll just lay paper on top of this because it already has the glue that's down. Okay, and this layer I really don't need to worry about unless it's going to be my top layer. As I said, I'm going to do probably about three layers, so I'm going to kind of use just this scrap ugly paper. And I'm just going to cover, do that. And then what I did was I found some beautiful kind of cutouts from this InStyle magazine that I have that have jewelry on them. So I'm going to leave those for the top, and that's actually what I'm going to um, make the inside of it that you can see with. Um, so I'm just going to do that. I'll come back um, after and show you the next step after what you do after you've layered everything on. Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you I did three layers inside the bowl. Um, I don't know if you can really tell but there are like there's the jewelry pictures that I had. You could do lips or eyes. That would be really cute too. But um, So I just sealed it with just a layer of my glue and water mixture. I did forget to tell you like how I did that. Um, what I did is I took, let me show you here, because I can just use some more, <clears throat> is I put about that much in there. And then you're just going to put just a splash of water. So just a little bit of water. Just a tiny bit, okay? And then you stir it together, and that's about the consistency that you want it. You don't want it too runny, but um, you definitely want it thicker, okay? So that's a good, just a good gauge, okay? And if you want, you can put this in an airtight container. That's what I usually do. Um, I just make a quantity and then I do it. But um, just make sure that it's a, a glue that dries clear. That's This is a big thing. one that I made. So, so let me show you that one. So I did that by going actually, by covering the back of the bowl with plastic wrap and putting it, you know, putting it on top. Um, this one looks like it's going to have a freer form. It's not going to be as tightly packed as this one. Um, so it's just a different look. Maybe if I would have wrapped the saran wrap super, super good, that would have helped too. But I just wanted to show you. So I just did the exact same thing. This has two layers. Um, this one I did about three layers. So we'll see how they turn out. So I'll see you in a little while. Hi guys. So this is the bowl that we pick our mache in. Um, this is a different one, um, but I did the exact same process that I showed you. So this is when it's all dry. Um, now you need to trim the edges. So I just have some scissors here. Alrighty. So you're just going to go around with your scissors. And you're going to trim it. Just so it's nice and even. And this one I made with collage papers, and I showed you the one with the magazine pages. Just like that, so you have this nice little beautiful bowl. Okay, and then now I just want to juice it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a little bit of glitter around the rim. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mat here. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle out this glitter that I have. Okay. And I have some glue here, just regular school glue. Okay. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter with my glue. to do is just roll it. Okay. Just like that. I like can get a little bit more and roll it around. Just like that. And if you wanted to you could just kind of dip the 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 outside too, we can do that. So I could go right in here and just go around that outside perimeter, just like that. Okay. 
look at how pretty that looks. And then we have the glitter on this side. And that just kind of gives it a little something. And you know what? I am just going to kind of seal this with my glue. So I'm going to go around. And then I'll go over it with Mod Podge too. And I'm just going to kind of seal in all that glitter. Okay. So you want your brush pretty thick with glue. It really doesn't move the glitter around that much. Okay. And you're just going to go around and that will seal the glitter right onto our bowl. Okay. And then I can go around here, go around that, the in, that rim that I made. Like that, and you have a beautiful decoupage bowl. Okay, and um, I would really like if this was more sparkly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around it with um, with a glittery um, Mod Podge. And if you wanted to, you could put like trim around or kind of whatever you want, just to add a little bit more to it. I can just kind of go around here. I have a little bit of glitter on my brush still, so I'm going to just go around and paint it. Because I don't mind if there's just random spurs of glitter around the bowl. Just like that. Okay. Perfect. And then I'm just going to set that over to dry, over to the side. And like I said, I will brush it with Mod Podge, um, the glittery kind. Yeah, probably the glittery kind. Or maybe, actually, I think I'm going to do a gloss. And then um, I am going to spray it with an adhesive sealer, and I'll come back and I'll let you see both of them. So one I did the rim with glitter, and the one that I actually show in the video of me decoupaging, um, that one I did not do that with. And I'll show you how different they look. Okay. So Hi guys. Back. So they're all done. Our beautiful paper mache bowls. So aren't they beautiful? And I love the inside of this one with that beautiful collage paper. And I have a video on how I made that too. Isn't that gorgeous? And then these are jelly prints on the outside, which are absolutely gorgeous. And then I love the glitter. So I just sealed everything just with this um, deco page and gloss which is beautiful. So it's nice and hard. They're sturdy. Um, this is the one that I showed me first making. And um, this is what I use these bowls for is I use them at, at my stand um, when I do craft shows. It's really beautiful um, and they hold all sorts of stuff. So this is what I put my sea glass in, my sea glass pendants that I make. Um, but as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. And this one was kind of jury inspired, but it goes with the design of my booth and so will this one with the book pages and that kind of stuff. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, hopefully it was easy to follow, but um, it's just very basic. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do pearls around the rim, um, but I won't do that. But they look beautiful displayed like with your stuff, like your jewelry from your room, all that kind of stuff. Um, you could even put your craft supplies that you have, like buttons and that kind of thing. And it's just a beautiful way to make a little container um, that's really beautiful and unique. And you can make as many layers as you want. I usually stick to about two or three layers, um, and that's perfect. And they're very hard. I mean, I've done everything. I think I even stepped on this thing, and it hasn't broken. So they're very durable. So. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like and share this video. And if you do this, I would love to see um, the results of you doing this craft. So please share it um, with me. I'm on Facebook. I have a link there. I'm on Pinterest, all over the place. So please, um, please just drop me a line and show me your work. Or if you ever need to talk about anything or you have an idea that you want to share that you want to see, um, I love ideas, so let me know. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.